Right, for our latest what's new section, we're gonna have a little look at the Nash Power Barrow. Often mistaken for a Formula One car, but it's not. It is a cart pushing barrow. It's a relatively new product to the cart pushing market. It's a new addition to my armory, and I absolutely love it. And once I get round to my swim, which shouldn't take me too long with this thing, I'll tell you exactly why I like it so much. Right, so we're in the swim. As you can see, I've now unloaded my barrow and here in front of me is the Trax Metro Power Barrow. How would you like a free Nash Power Barrow? Like this one. If you would, all you need is a Supography membership. You may also remember when we gave away this one. Fancy winning yourself the fastest off-road machine in the entire fishing industry? You're in luck because this time around, we're giving away this one. And when it's out the box, it looks a little bit like this one, which I have just used to transport what could become your one. Your Supography membership is your golden ticket and that is all you need to be entered into the draw which will take place on the 5th of February. So remember, remember to become a Supography member on or before the 5th of Feb November. From Nash. It's the first power barrow that I've ever used and it was the middle of winter when I decided, do you know what, I wouldn't mind having a look at one of those barrows. I fish all the way through the winter and at times moving in the middle of the night in the mud, the slop, the cold, you know, it can be, it can be tough. And during the winter months, sometimes it's nice to carry a few extra bits and pieces with you. In the summer, yeah, I fish really light. But at the same time, sometimes in the summer, I've got lots of bait with me and I've fished big lakes in the past. And you know, you're talking 50, 60 kilos of bait when you're taking into account, you've got several buckets of particle, boilies, all that. And sometimes that can be a real struggle, whether it's a small lake or a big lake, pushing your gear round the lake, no matter what time of year it is, you can be faced with certain occasions where it is not an enjoyable process. And I thought, you know what? I'm only young, and of course, I've always said a power barrow is for the older generation. No offence, um, but yeah, a bit of a pride thing. You think, why would, I need a, why would I need a power barrow? Well, I decided to talk to Alan and Nash. I'd heard about these. Uh, I think Scott Lloyd was the first person to tell me about one. Then Jim Shelley said he had one as well. I saw it in use, um, and I got onto Alan and asked him to sort me one out, and he did. So I haven't paid for this barrow. You know, I have been gifted this by Nash, which I'm very grateful for. Um, the barrow is 850 pounds, so it is a lot of money for a barrow. And you know, if that is completely out your price range, of course you're not going to buy one of these. But the reason I'm doing this review is because I've been fortunate enough to be gifted one. I've now started using it, and I really, really like it. And there'll be a lot of you that, when you're making a purchase like this, you know, 850 quid on a barrow. You want to know that you're spending your money on something good and from what i can see so far you know you are going to be because although i haven't had this barrow for ages it's a really really good bit of kit from what i can make out and i would never go back you know i really wouldn't when i look back now i think jesus i am so glad and so lucky to have this so this is the barrow in front of me um and it's got all sorts of little bits and pieces you can do. You know, There is a bigger version available, so it's a larger size barrow for people that want to take more kit. And one of the, my favorite things about this barrow is it's actually quite a small barrow still, but of course it can be extended, adapted and whatnot. So I'll run you through some of the features now. Um, if we start at this end, there's two little clips here at the front of the barrow. If you pop these open, the front of the barrow extends. So of course you can put more stuff on the barrow here, go away wasp. So yeah, that automatically will extend the barrow and you want the weight over the wheel. So if you've got a lot of kit, extend that out, have the weight more over the top of the wheel. Slide that back in, do that up. Like I say, there's one of those on each side. You've then got two other pouches, one this side, one that side. You can keep in those whatever you like, but in this one, I've got my Fortis coat, waterproof jacket, Waterproof salopettes, leaf suit, 
all sorts of stuff in there. Like I say, you get quite a lot in, and they're only small. You look at them, you think they're only small, but you can get a lot in them. They are removable as well, so you don't have to have them fixed in the barrow at all times. And on this side, I've got my stove, you know, all sorts of bits of cookware, we'll call it that. Milk, cup, etc., etc. That all goes in there. So clothing, food items and that here. And then this pouch is a larger pouch and I've actually fixed this now. So I've adapted this so that it's permanently fixed to the barrow. I don't want to be taking this in and out. So I've adapted that with some cable ties to permanently fix that in place. Obviously you don't have to do that. Inside there, got me coal for me barbecue, water butt, scales pouch and all that. So plenty of room to get all sorts in there. There's still a bit of space left in there. And that, lot there pretty much is everything I need um, outside of my rods my mat my rucksack all that kind of stuff on the front of the barrel I've got another pouch if I open this up in there at the moment I've actually got a load of old shit to be honest a load of rubbish and <laughs> spare buzzer and a bank stick but um, you can keep all sorts of stuff in there whatever you want really this is where my bank stick goes my bait etc etc a lot of that's in my swim at the moment but plenty of space again in there but because this bag's at the front of the barrow, of course, it helps when carting it along. The more weight at the front helps the barrow to almost pull itself on top of the fact you've got a rather powerful engine attached to it. So that is pretty much all the, the you know, the main features um, as far as storage goes with the barrow and, you know, how you can extend it and whatnot. At the tail end here, you've obviously got the handles. They're nice, big foam handles, so they're not too slippery. Obviously nice and soft on your hands if you've got little girl's hands like me. And here is the power button. Next to the power button, you've also got a battery meter. So it tells you how much power you've got left in the burrow, full, half, and then empty. If I turn it on at the moment, you can see it says full and you've got orange and red for like I say, your half and your empty. Turn that back off. And underneath that is a cable and that cable runs down here along the arm. Here's your connector, this is how you disengage the power or well, one of the ways that's how I do it anyway you can also do it from inside here and that cable runs into the barrow and in this part here this is where the batteries are housed and in here if I open that up you've got two lead acid batteries I don't really have any idea what a lead acid battery is but that is what they are some of you might be a little bit more technical than me um, I'm not like that I just know they're the batteries and that's where they live in here and there's a few cables and connectors and whatnot inside there all housed nicely by this lid which has a seal on the front of it to keep it locked nice and tight. At the base of the barrow you've obviously got your tyre and your feet so nice big feet there plenty of stability and the leg here is of course adjustable uh, via a spring-loaded mechanism pull that out you can adjust the height of the legs of course you can also attach some big wheels to the back here as well. At the front of the barrow you've got a beefy old tyre nice big knobbly bits of tread and I'm pretty certain that it's inside this wheel that the motor is housed and because it's built inside the wheel and obviously the battery packs are in the middle, the barra has got plenty of stability. It's all in the right place, which means your barra is not lopsided and it isn't wanting to fall over, which is really, really important. And these batteries inside here, they last a long time. You know, I've charged this barra up quite some time ago now. I've been using it a fair bit. Uh, I do fish quite a lot and it's still on full. When I click it on, it's still got full power. And it is a powerful barrow, this, you know, it really does pull. I've loaded it up with food, drink, bait, all sorts, um, and it, it just pulls itself around the lake, no problem at all. Like I say, little click of the switch, push the old button down, you know, look, and it, want, it wants to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, great bit of kit. I absolutely love it. It is an expensive barrow, but it's a great barrow. And if you're in the market for one, from what I've seen of it so far, I could not recommend it enough.